race steeped in tradition, a race every coursing fan chases. And Peter Craig gets his chance to win another, he's won two already. And runners are coming into slips, ladies and gentlemen. Our two star greyhounds in the final. Funny old fellow in Swinton. Everybody watch these two fine canines do battle here. They're coming into slips, waiting on the green flag. Set. Off. Little bit of bumping going at the start. Funny old fella and Swinton. Swinton's trying to get over in front of Funny old fella. Swinton a half length of Funny old fella who starts to boot up on the rails. Swinton in front. Funny old fella starts to boot up on the fence. Swinton, funny old fella. Swinton, funny old fella. They hit it, I don't know. Leave it to the judge, the red collar. Red collar. Funny old fella's got there. What a course that was. I knew it would be a cracker. There's nothing between them two dogs. They bumped heavy early. Welcome back here to Lang Lang, everybody. Well, we've just seen the running of the 150th anniversary of the Waterloo Cup. And uh, it was a mighty victory to the gentleman and the greyhound standing right next to me here, Pete. Congratulations, mate. You've done it. Well done, buddy. You've won the 150th anniversary of the Waterloo Cup. What does it mean to you? Uh, as president of the NCA, it's just such a great thrill. You know, we got pretty emotional walking back. Yeah. The dog obviously was getting through the day perfectly as to how you wanted. We know he's very strong, obviously, but everything was going according to plan throughout the day, you know. Yeah, look, he, he, he's had a busy program up until last week, and then last the last week he's done hasn't been off the lead. Mm -hmm. um, we had, were down the beach a couple of times, and then today everything went well. Um, my wife said he was a bit tired after the first course, but he, you know once he'd had a drink and recovered, he, he was a bit stirred up down at the start for the first course because the, the lights didn't work and they had to get the flag out. Yeah, I noticed that. And was he happening. started barking and yep. really carrying on. He's Getting pretty excitable. Up. Yep. Um, but um, yeah, once we got into it, um, yeah, oh, it was fantastic. Can you run us through the emotions of the final? What could you see? What well, could you tell? I know it's I've handled before here. I know all you see is two bums running away from you. Can you tell me what you were? Well, see, Swinton had beaten him twice this season. He, they've met twice, and he's been beaten both times by the other dog. And the other dogs, you know, had two lengths on him really all season. You know, whenever they've they've coursed at the same time, and um, but. The other dog has more early pace, and just like Naeli, the Oaks winner in the um, in the semi-final, they had you know two or three lengths on him early, mm, they, and I and I thought pacing. off the red collar, you know, if my bloke could hold them early, he'd be too strong. Okay, and um, and that's exactly what happened. I think Naeli probably only got half three quarters of a length on him, whereas she'd had three lengths on him from the first round. Yep. you know, to the to the first mark. And Swinton had a couple of lengths on him, but I, I don't think he would have got more than half a length on him. And Swinton was trying to push him over to the fence, and you can't see much running away. But all of a sudden, just around the, you know, after they'd gone about 100 metres, I could see my bloke starting to push him back, push back. towards the centre. And I thought, oh, he can't be far off him if he's pushing back now, you know, because if he'd been a length behind, he would have crossed across behind him and it would have been all over. But once he started pushing him back and yep. pushing Swinton back to the centre of the track, uh, I knew I was going to be in it. And then yep. you don't know until you see the flag. Until the flag goes up and then the heart starts pounding and away and, you go, and, mate. And then the emotions of, you know, planning for 12 months. Absolutely, yeah. 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 No, I know it's a race I've chased with my greyhounds over the time, mate. I know it's, and especially being our 150th, it's just crazy good. And I'm stoked to have been able to call it today and be a part of it. Like, really, I love coursing, as you know. And But no, uh, congratulations to you and the dog. And uh, going forward, you reckon you just keep them back to the circle with him now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look. Last year we won it with he's no slouch and he went back to the circle and raced tremendously. Won the yep. Sale Sprint Championship, and made the Bendigo Cup final, um, won the Sandown, the the Cup Night Sprint at Sandown. And, yep, absolutely. And, and this dog's probably a better 500 metre dog than he's no slouch. So okay. um, um, the he's eligible for the St Ledger at Warrigal in, okay, in a few weeks. Limit. Yep. Um, so we might give that a try. Congratulations again, Pete. Fantastic effort by you and Humphrey here.